Right, uh, hey everyone, it's Pocket, and uh, welcome to my last BJD video for this year, the year of 2015. Oh my gosh, time has flown so fast, and I'm already almost getting ready to go back abroad. Um, but I definitely wanted to make one more video for you guys because, hey, it's the end of the year. You're only going to get this one chance, right? So for this last video of 2015, I thought I'm not going to do an end of year BJD tag. Um, even though I did one last year and I really enjoyed it. But for me personally, this year was a bit different. It was a bit trying and um, there were many challenges and that's why I thought I'm going to do an unconventional BJD end of year wrap up, sort of inspired by the BJD end of year tag, but not completely the BJD end of year tag. So it's just going to be a bit of rambling. A few updates on the BJDs that I have currently. And I'm not going to reintroduce anyone here, so um, because I've already done that recently, very recently. So if you want to know who they all are, please check out my BJD collection update video that I just posted um, a few weeks ago. And you'll find all the information you long for there. First of all, though, look at everyone. They're all here together, all eight of them. And uh, these are my uh, eight complete dolls, three floating heads. And... Um... You will notice that one person is missing, that's my doll zone girl, because she's now officially for sale, at least the head is, and I've decided I'm going to be keeping her for sale for um, the duration of my stay abroad, because I can keep her here wrapped up, and if she is sold, I will have someone send her off for me. So she will be on sale for that time, and um, I'll leave a link in the description box below to her sales thread. If any of you are interested, just check that out below. Now, let's get started. I have a few updates right off the back. Um, and I'm just going to take the camera off the um, stand to show you up close and personal what I've been working on these past couple of days. First of all, I just want to show you this guy here up front because he hasn't been getting much attention lately. And um, you will probably remember that I said in the previous collection update video that this guy is a very big work in progress for me still. And um, at least I can tick one thing off the list now. He has got a wig! <laughs> Yay, JNC Entangled! Um, made me this amazing alpaca wig and the fiber is fantastic. I'm sorry for the poor lighting, but it's quite late in the day and I really just want to make this video for you guys. As you can see, it's got these, um, these gray strands in between all the brown ones and I think it looks so beautiful. I'm really in love with it. I love the hairline, the flipped back hairline and the stray strands that are just hanging around his face. I really love it. I think he's just taken a big step in the right direction for me and um, all that's left now for him is a new face up really but that will have to wait until I return. The same goes sadly for him as well I think. Ruel, my Dolce Saint, I'm not going to be able to paint him before I go back. You'll probably have to wait until I return but that's alright. Andromeda's keeping him company. <laughs> oh she's so sweet. I really want to do redo her face up to be honest as well at least on this faceplate. I love the other two faceplates she has. She's got three faceplates. Um, but this elven one, I think it needs a redo. She's up for a redo soon. Oh yeah, and Pocket. Pocket has a bicycle. Look at that. I found this amazing little bicycle at a Christmas market uh, near where I live. And it was actually a really good price. And it's a working bicycle. The wheels actually turn, the pedals, you can use the pedals and everything. It's, it's amazing. And it's perfectly in scale for mini fees. Which reminds me, Pocket was one of the BJDs that came to me this year, one of two BJDs. Rule was the first, and Pocket was the second, or, or rather, they arrived together, so I don't really know who counts as the first or the second. But Pocket's body arrived to me this year, and so Pocket was uh, completed. And, <laughs> which was a really, really amazing thing, because I've had Pocket for so long, and she's been in the story for so long, and for her to be complete, and be here. I feel like she's been here forever, but she's only really been present in BJD form since like summer this year, and I just can't wrap my head around that. She's so amazing, and she's such a lively doll form as well in my crew. She just lights up my day whenever I look at her. I really love her. Um, and Rule, of course, I mean, he's got his outfit, and he came together this year too. I was super proud of that. He's just gonna need some more work, that's all. Let's just move around so you can catch one more glimpse of the dolls. Um, Lynn has had an eye change. Don't know how well you can see this. There you go. But she's uh, switched from Mako eyes to W 
uh, not W, to DGLW eyes, otherwise known as VDZA eyes. Uh, they are beautiful, and I think they are quite a good size for her. All this time, I've been having Mako 14 millimeters, and I think that they were they were um, too small for her eyes. She's got quite big eyes, so I think these are really good. What do you think of the color? I think she looks much better with these. And other than that, I'm also really happy that Lynn has come together so well. She didn't have a body for a short while, uh, because Marion, who I'm going to formally introduce to you now, stole her body. This, everyone, is Marion, and I just completed her face up, and I'm so, so happy with her. She is so fierce. Look at that red hair, look at those burning eyes. I love her to bits, and the camera lens loves her too, even though I think she doesn't really like being photographed. <laughs> at least she looks super annoyed at me right now. But still, she's amazing, I love her, she's on the Feeble 60 A-line body, whereas Luna's on the Feeble 60 Moa line body, and Marion is just ooh, stealing all my attention right now, I'm gonna be so sad to have to leave her soon. I've actually had this head for quite a long time, so I'm really happy to complete this doll now. Right before the new year, Viennese in the back there, just just peacefully watching over everyone. Anarchia's cuddling up to Marion, even though I'm sure she's going to be elbowed away if she tries that. And here are my floating heads. And you will notice that there is an addition to the collection. This, everyone, is my Benedict Cumberbatch head that I got for Christmas that I told you about in the last video. This is a Modol or Natrume head from Etsy and it arrived just in time for me to receive it for Christmas. And he's wearing some Mako eyes in 12mm which I think are quite a good match. I also got those for Christmas, they're this gorgeous green. And I must say I'm really really happy with this head. The quality is very very good and just the sculpting is amazing. It just looks like Benedict Cumberbatch's head right there on my desk. Wouldn't that be really weird? <laughs> like in real life. <laughs> anyway, really happy with this head. Um, also a head that I'm gonna be painting when I get back. I wanna, I wanna save this one for a while. These two are the Fairland floating heads that I have. The other two, the Nanuri 2013 and the, the other mini Fisian head. Um, I'm hoping to get a Moa doll, a Moa doll, a Moa line mini fee body for this head and for him that is the one thing that I definitely want to get next year, a Feeble 60 male body. That's like the one thing I long for. So you could say that that's one BJD goal for the new year, um, <laughs> one set purchase, but first I've still got to pay off uh, Loon's body and then I can then I can maybe look into getting a Feeble 60 male body because they're quite hard to come by for some reason. Fairland hasn't released them now in a while and on the marketplace they're usually from outside the European Union and I, I can't afford that. Custom fees are just too high. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. So those are my little updates and um, right now I'm just really really happy that so many dolls have reached a completed state this year. After all, even though I did not have a lot of time to invest into them. So many of them did make it this far and I'm just so happy and glad and I've got eight sort of complete dolls, isn't that amazing? I mean all that's really left is for Rule to have a face up and wig and then you could say I've got eight complete dolls. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying that. If I look back um, to 2013 when I first started out in this hobby, I, w I had no idea that one day I would be standing here in front of eight dolls. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> and of course there are many Fairyland dolls in my collection, I will admit that. There are one, two, three, four, five, six Fairyland dolls in my collection, two Fairyland floating heads, so that will be eight in total, eventually. Um, but to be honest, I don't really mind, because I still consider my collection mixed. You know, I still have a doll she's saint, and I have a soul doll Devonia, so it's sort of mixed, even though it's very one-sided. Um, I would love to have a Ceres Dolls doll from Lilycat. Um, I really love Ilana. I really love that sculpt. But I've been following her on Instagram and it seems like she's going to release more sculpts, um, like more larger Ceres Dolls dolls, and I really, really, really am interested in getting one of those eventually. 
So that would mean I would also have an artist doll, which would be awesome. I would love to support her and her work and, you know, own an artist doll. I think that's that's something that's something worth saving and waiting for. <laughs> I will never have as many Fairyland as many other dolls as I do Fairyland dolls. It's just not gonna happen. Especially because I'm not also not the type for a huge collection. I don't plan on owning twenty something dolls eventually. So yeah. All that's left now, actually, is just to say what my BJD resolution is for next year. And last year, I was able to to uh, to tick a lot of things off the list, actually. I, I opened for commissions, I started giving commissions, and I mean accepting commissions, and uh, painting dolls for other people, and it was a, a real joy ride. I really enjoyed it. And um, made a few dolly funds that way, and I continue, I will continue to offer up uh, face up commissions. However, I do believe my shop is only going to be open again in March. I, I apologize, of course, for that, but uh, there's nothing I can do. Uh, other than that, I think that my main focus next year should be completing um, my dolls and enhancing my dolls in the sense that I would like to make clothing for them. My last uh, BJD resolutions for the year of 2015 were that I would definitely want to sew for my BJDs because I had started sewing and um, I did not sew a single a single seam this year. I did not even sit in front of the sewing machine and that is just wow that's just you know it's like that resolution went down the drain <laughs> um, yeah I know but I would definitely want to change that for next year for 2016 I want to sew and I want to try and sew for my BJDs as well so yeah sewing making things indulging in creativity, continuing my face-up work. Um, I will insert a picture here of my very first face-up from this year and now my very last face-up, which was Marion's. Um, I feel like I've come very far and I'm continuing, you know, to grow my skills and working on myself and I think I can be happy with what I did this year, even though it was, like I say, a very unconventional year sort of, a very different year. This was quite a long one, I know, but it's the last one of the year, so I thought, why not indulge my audience? For all of you who have supported me so wonderfully this, this past year, thank you so much for all you new people who have subscribed to my channel. It really means a lot, and it really motivates me to continue making videos for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I, I guess all that's left now is to wish you a happy Dolly Day, the last of 2015. Good luck and have a great start into the new year of 2016. I'll see you in the next year. Bye!